Hey, what's up guys? It's Eric here. Uh, I know I don't usually do interview type of videos, but today I had the privilege of interviewing one of my favorite YouTubers. His music satire videos have gained him millions of views, as well as tons of subscribers. Uh, with me today is Jared Dines. How's it going, Jared? Um, All right, we're here at Warped Tour in Utah today. Uh, how do you like Utah, Jared? Uh, I was expecting more Mormons. Uh, definitely not as many Mormons as I was anticipating. Very disappointed. Um, that's pretty much all I was looking forward to, so. I hate it here too, honestly. I'm not gonna lie. It, it is altogether a terrible state. Um, not to like personally offend anyone, no offense, but every single person here is awful. I'm not even a judgmental person, but just being here for like a few minutes and knowing nothing about the state, I already know that everybody is awful. Hey, have you seen my camera? So your debut album, Beating a Dead Horse, just came out. Get me a cough drop! <laughs> reminds me I got you cough drops. Because, uh, I think this is funny. Is this is some sort of joke. You know what you can do? You can take your cough drops, and you can take this camera, and go home. Just give up, okay? I will, but I still have like three or four more questions. Killed it on the vocals on your album. Thank you. Every song I did vocals Very. on every song. I mean, like you got you got all these guys in the industry that are just trying to get by vocally, and they 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 do the work, they pull their weight, practice, but they're just they don't have what it takes like I do. I mean, sometimes you just gotta not even Maddie. I have that that fire. I I don't even really have to work for it. A lot of people say that I'm like the best vocalist they've ever met. Not to sound like conceited, but I mean, I could no, be like no, no. the best vocalist in the world. I don't even think I was paying attention when we were recording. You just like hit the button and then I kind of like blacked oh, out. Oh, you're, you're recording. It I just comes so, comes so naturally to me. What's the one about having a shit fetish? Oh, um, it's called inconceivable somatic defecation. Um, I, I actually have that fetish. Like a lot of people think these songs are jokes. Uh, some of them are jokes, but this song is very personal to me. Um, it's things I've written over the last few years that I've really thought about. Um, One thing I like about your album is it's very diverse. There's metalcore, there's pop punk, and then there's the Christian worship song, Save My Life, which is about the Lord, obviously. You ever had a dream? A dream to be somebody! Well, it is a worship song, but it is actually a Mormon worship song. I don't believe that all Christians are going to heaven. I think there's a, a set amount, and it's all based on good works. So in reality, no one's going to save your life. You can only save yourself through the teachings of Joseph Smith. It's, it's saved lives, to say the least. So just Can't really relate to you there. I'm Jewish. I feel like there's a, a, lot, a big need for more Mormon worship songs. Yeah, not a lot of Mormon contemporary music, especially in the metal scene. Yeah, don't see that. Well, I mean, like you have, you have Black Veil Brides. They're a Mormon worship band, yeah, of course. You have Memphis Mayfire. They're of Memphis course Mayfire. probably I, the top of the Mormon worships right now. Yeah, many Mormon mullahs. I think that's, that's an yeah, full name. It's yeah, full legal Mormo. Name. That's what we call them. Yeah, like Mormo Mullins. So you're from Chattanooga, right? Um, I know. I think so. What I really wanted to talk about was. Uh, the fact that Macy from Teen Mom is also from Chattanooga. I've never actually used a TV before. Teen Mom, um, television. Uh, it's, it's kind of a new thing. It's going to be a Teen Mom question. One of the running jokes on your album, Beating a Dead Horse, is uh, using the word bland. Uh, a lot of people don't know this, but it's actually pronounced bleep. Probably couldn't hear that, but like right at the end, there's like a little, like a little guttural, so like bleep. It's too, too heavy. Not, not doing it well at all. I think the next album's gonna be all bleeds. So. I guess that about wraps it up. Um, so, Jared. See ya.
Jared Alonji, everyone. Contact the Coast Guard.